morning, Remnant. We have a quick prophetic sound bite for you once again this morning. I'm Pastor Emeritus Ron L. Spratley. Today, I want to spend some time talking about godly leadership. One of the issues we have today, we have so much wickedness in high places, and we're in the midst of a global, really a global leadership crisis or leadership deficit. Of all the deficits that you hear people talking about, nobody really talks about the leadership deficit that we're facing because we have so much wickedness in high places. You can't vote your way out of the judgment of God, okay? Politics can't save you from prophecy. Politics can't save you from the judgment of God. So we can't vote our way out of the issues that we're facing. So today I wanna to go straight into today's teaching. I wanna talk about godly leadership. We're gonna use Deuteronomy 1 and 13 as our sound bite. Take you wise men and understanding and known among your tribes and I will make them rulers over you. The value of godly leadership. Godly leadership is essential to our world. Nothing is transformed without leadership. Unless people are inspired to think differently or act differently, circumstances remain the same or becomes worse. If nothing changes, nothing changes. Let's talk a little bit about the character of godly leadership. Godly leaders have unshakable, an unshakable belief in Bible doctrine. They have a servant attitude, humility, and meekness. They're filled with Bible knowledge and wisdom. They have vision. Vision is the ability to see what others cannot. Godly leaders are filled with courage. They have the ability to act despite tremendous odds against them or against you. They're filled with creativity. They have the ability to think outside of the box. They also have an ability to withstand adversity and criticisms. They have patience and self-discipline. And finally, they respect respects the free will of others, and they also respect the governing laws of the kingdom of heaven. I want to thank you for your time. We look forward to listening to Pastor Williams as he comes up next. God bless you and keep you. <laughs> 